Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, 2nd October. 75% of this year is now over. The trading year is 75% over. 25% to go. Oh, it's been a struggle this year. My fucking God. Christ Almighty. Um, but we got 25% of the year to go. We got to keep our heads up and uh, keep moving forward one day at a time. Uh, stay disciplined follow our own internal rules and uh, just stay on track let's see first chart here is the obvious one stocks uh, deck minis big big down day after that ISM you can see it on the hourly here's the ISM we were at 90 Went down to 63, and now we're at the uh, the all important key for the rest of the year 2938. This is the number we keep telling everybody um, that we think, based on the people that we talk to and the research that we do, is the bull bear number for the institutional community. So below 2938, CTAs, momentum traders. Um, are going to get short and below 2938 uh, tactical long short guys are going to start trimming longs or hedging some of their longs so it's no surprise uh, we stopped at 3925 uh, for the cheeky guys who are trying to buy at the what they think is the bottom of the range that's a beautiful purchase um, so they're buying 40s and they'll believe probably a stop at whatever 32 or whatever it's like a it's like a cheap play to if with the idea that this will be the bottom of the range so we're we're doing some sideways motion here between say 2990 and 2950 they think this is going to go up um, we're not as interested in that crowd we wish them the best of luck but um, we are interested to see this on a daily close below 38 so based on the sort of global backdrop um, we do have cheap money which is bullish we do have uh, a number of bearish indicators um, some more subtle than others but the most obvious one is Hong Kong uh, this this is not going away this should have gone away already uh, this looks like it's going to escalate this would be terrible for the global macro backdrop. We also have possible impeachment of the U.S. president. This is also not going to go away. This is probably going to drag on for a few months, but it's just here on the overhang. We have earnings indications that are coming in lower. Um, and then we have a basically a country saddled in debt. Um, which is the US corporate sector, their students um, also saddled in debt. And the consumer is saddled in debt in America, but they're always saddled in debt, so we don't think that's, that's very interesting. Um, so you got to weigh your bull bear stories. Uh, for us, the bearish case is stronger, so we're watching this very, very closely. Uh, we're not like putting the hammer down yet here at 2943 we are not front running this we've been casually playing on the short side uh, as you all know but it's time to put your big boy pants on I think and see what happens here 2938 so let's see Euro Swiss yesterday total fuck job up to 109.20 we talked about it between 05 and 20 was going to be a decent sell uh, here we are at 60 I don't think this is going to collapse if you're short euro swiss I encourage you to buy euro dollar against it which will technically make you now short dollar swiss we think this is a better trade than short euro swiss at 108.60 uh, if you're still short from yesterday 
we suggest uh, you know just squaring this down between 60 and 30. Euro Swiss in all likelihood is not going to collapse. Uh, there are obviously hurdles to clear on the downside. The 800 billion euro elephant in the room that we call the Swiss National Bank uh, will be lurking somewhere down here. Uh, and also boons. Uh, boons are lower. 173.73. So there's a lot of reasons not to be short Euro Swiss, and there's a lot of reasons to be short Euro Swiss, but we think it's a trade. So we like Euro Dollar Swiss a lot lower. We do not like Euro Swiss a ton lower. So um, we're short Dollar Swiss instead. Uh, we've we've turned our Euro Swiss into Dollar Swiss. Dollar Swiss, uh, bang bang up there at one. Oddly, a lot of guys hedged up there. I was surprised. I didn't think that was going to trade, uh, but it did. Traded up to 15. Uh, a lot, a lot of my friends all sold. Um, when I say friends, people I speak to in town here um, who are hedging for the fourth quarter, they all sold at one, um, which worked. Uh, you know, normally it doesn't trade, and they all get screwed. Uh, but this time it worked so I don't know how many more overhangers are there um, you had basically 90 minutes to get it done right we were above one for yeah basically 90 minutes straight back lower dollar Swiss I think um, is your vehicle is your is a very good risk-off vehicle dollar Swiss uh, as well as dollar yen but um, I do think the Hong Kong situation, uh, dollar Swiss is actually going to be cleaner on the downside than dollar yen is going to be. So core short dollar Swiss looks looks interesting to us. Dollar yen, holy Christ. 108.40 yesterday. We were all waiting for a strong ISM. It was one of those classic FX moments where you're just like, holy shit, this is going to cruise through 108.50. We know there are stops up there. We know there's risk. This is going to be a clusterfuck of, of slippage and bad fills and shouting at the banks and the banks shouting at us. And, and as we were all looking right, uh, as one of my colleagues said just before the number, he's like, we're all looking right. What could go wrong? Bang. I'll tell you what can go wrong. ISM can go wrong. Uh, dollar yen bearish engulfed. Everyone got caught looking topside. Guys started getting short around 10. Uh, now we're waiting to see if this confirms through 64. So we bearish engulfed from the range highs. So these are range highs from August. So they're not crazy important, but they're pretty important. Uh, now 107, the figure also is going to be seen as not only a pivot, but a neckline. This whole chart depends on ES. So a clean break below 29.39 and a daily close below 29.39, dollar yen will follow. Aussie yen, same type of chart. Uh, this went down because of RBA. You could argue you could sell some of this shit here between 40 and 50 and leave a pretty tight stop as a sort of lower vol way of expressing risk off. Um, we don't mind that. Let's quickly talk about sterling because, um, you know, it's happening now. Uh, TikTok, we are uh, 27 days away from this deadline. A lot of people are angry at Boris for having this sort of kamikaze suicide mission into Europe. Uh, the risk here is sterling way the fuck higher and that this clown um, or evil genius or whatever you want to call him, we put our bias aside, we don't, we don't really care. But the risk is um, this gets settled somehow. Uh, the risk is not that it gets unsettled. Every single participant I know is called, there's no way we're going to have a border without checks, blah, yada, yada, yada. Um, 
almost every single person I know is thinking this. The other people I know have no fucking clue. So for me, the risk is topside here. It is not downside. Uh, how to express this in a safe way? I don't know. Uh, it's tough. Uh, the easiest, safest way is just to leave a stop at 126. And I know that sounds hysterical. Um, but if you see prices above 126, Brexit is solved. And if Brexit is solved, we're going to 140. Um, these are these important highs up here, 125.80, 125.80. Um, so this is one simple way to say, if this is solved, I'm going to be on board. It's going to be messy. Uh, my position will have to be a little bit smaller. Uh, but if it is solved, we're going to 140. Um, and you'll, you know, being long at 126, two or three days after the news is out is going to look very sexy. Otherwise, for those of you who are younger and a little bit more nimble, um, just keep your eyes on the news wires. This will be a news driven trade, uh, if there's success. Again, I don't pretend to understand how there could be success. All I know is the risk now is firmly on the top side. Everyone either wants him to lose or expects him to lose or their little brains can't think of any possible way this can work out. Uh, and when you see this in the foreign exchange world, you really have to go, wait a minute, um, what happens if this does work? Or there is a possibility this can work. Uh, so the safe way is 126. If you're young and nimble and have a good news feed and are unafraid uh, to plunge on news, um, I don't know, watch the news. We, we are core long sterling Swiss. Nothing really happening here. We're just sort of sitting here at 122. Uh, we don't expect this to get back below uh, 121, uh, but we are we're actually buying more at 121. We're we're long from down here at the 119 area. So I don't know. Uh, this one also through 125, same type of trade. Uh, Sterling Swiss is obviously a lower vol vehicle than cable and uh, you know pick your poison it's all the same quickly I'm going over my limit here um, time wise dollar cad printed a very bearish day a uh, core short dollar cad looks okay all right I've said enough good luck out there people watch this um, deck e mini future we're trading at 44 now obviously a news driven move lower a bearish uh, news driven move lower would be ideal we will not trust the move lower in Europe if we see it uh, we need full liquidity and the Yanks to drive this good luck people make some dough talk to you later